Yo, we rocking with DJ Malone on the ones and twos. It's all good. Y'all get in where you fit in, huh? Keep it locked. Yo, this is Travis Scott. Wah, wah, wah. It's your boy, little baby. This is Drizzy Drake. With Chi-Town Urban Radio. It's the one and only DJ Malone, man. Chi-Town of Radio, the best place to be at on any day, really. How you guys doing? I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm chilling. I'm in Chicago right now, if, if you guys may know. Um, it's getting a little bit hotter and i like that but then i don't like it because people i feel like still need to stay in the goddamn house i don't i I, (laughs) me i just don't like people that's just how i am deal with it but with all that being said i'm still bringing you guys people that that are on the grind and there's people that are really cool and who i want to talk to and this next person i got coming up right now man and ladies this one this one goes out to you and 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 what a great thing because it's international women's month and i want to go ahead and let her tell what the venture that she has going on hey go ahead and introduce yourself real quick Hey, DJ Malone, this is Tangie Hamilton, also known as Tangie from Dallas. And uh, though I live here in Washington, D.C., so I just want to, first of all, tell you, we glad to be out the damn house. (laughs) (laughs) And to share with you uh, and your crew and your listeners and your entourage or whatever you got, about my Etsy best-selling card game for the ladies or those of feminine energy um, okay. called Bitch, You Lion. Now, I like... Now, when, when you first hear this this, uh, this name, <laughs> and I what I like about it is is that it's, it's, eye, it's eye-grabbing. It's just, yo, uh, that, that, that makes a person pay attention. <laughs> So I want my listeners to get to know about you and ev- all the ventures and, and, and everything that you have. So give us a little bit of 411 on you. 411 on me. So uh, there's a whole lot about me. I mean, I'm a jack of all trades. I, I, I do a lot of acting and singing. I work for Sirius XM. Uh, I, you know, I'm an author because I wrote a book on how to make your own card game because I had so many people asking me about how I did it but I was in the throes of um, of COVID when it first kicked off last year and I was bored out my damn mind missing my girlfriends and missing hanging out and you know it just kind of came on me you know make a card game and the first thing out my mouth was bitch you lying like really you gonna make you gonna make a card game and I thought about it ooh we gotta make this card game so I literally stayed up all night long and I made this card game, and a lot of the, I would say most of the stuff that's, that's in that card game um, is pretty much things that I've either experienced or I've witnessed. So if, okay. I'll put it that way. But it's so, raw, it's raunchy, it's not for church folks. I am, I grew up Kojic, so let me put it out there. This is not for church folks, unless you just want them cool church folks. <laughs> okay. Now, 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 let me ask you about the game itself. What is the mission yeah. of the game? Is there a, a winner or loser yes. in a sense, or how yes. does this work out? All right, so here's the deal. The, the mission of the game is it gives you an opportunity to really see if you know your homegirls as well as you think you do. So let's say, for instance, that you, I pull a card. I'm going to pull a card first. This is what's going to happen. I'm going to read the question on the card. The question could be, um, you saw your boyfriend at the corner store hanging out with your sister with, the arm around, with his arm around her waist or some shit like that, right? Mm. Would you A, run up on him, B, you know, call the cops on him, C, just let that shit ride, right? And so you're, the, the people that are playing with you, the three other people, they have to try to guess what my answer would be. They should know me well enough to say, oh, well, she's just going to let it ride. She's, just, she's not that kind of chick. She's going to let it ride. So there's a letter card where you can pick what, where each of the people would say, well, I think you would pick letter A, or I think you would pick letter B, or I think you would pick letter C. So all at once, all at once, once everybody figured out how they think I would have answered this, this question, you throw, you, you throw down your card and you, and you see if your card 
matches my answer card. So I'm going to throw down my card, which the answer would have been C. I'm not going to do anything about it, right? No big deal. Okay. If everybody else around there, they're going to throw out that card. Anybody who matched my card gets the point. Okay. But if their card did not match, if, if none of their cards matched my card, if all three of those people were uh, sitting around that table pick A and I pick C, then everybody going to stand up and holler, bitch, you lying, pull a card. Because we know you better than that. If we all think that you would have done this, you're lying, so I would have to pick a card, an action card, and do whatever is on that action card, and it's wrong. So, now, and this is getting interesting. So with the action cards, it's something uh-huh. kind of like a true for dare type of deal, too. Because, you know, when Pretty you do much. that action, is it more of, like, what are the action, what are, like, what are some of the things you guys are doing, like, in these actions? Sure. Uh, my favorite one is that uh, you have to run outside, grab your titties, and yell, "These nuts!" That's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, I hate it. There I'm are there's, there's, yeah, there's some, uh, and I think uh, there's some that are really good. There, like you know, give your homegirls a high five, and all y'all take a shot, you know. And say bitch you lying or something or or you have to go to your the last person that you uh sent a text message to and you know say something crazy to them it's the the action cards are, are out, out outlandish okay. i need to go ahead and say this disclaimer you need to be adult to play this game you need to be grown to play this game and you better not touch any alcohol unless your state says that you're old enough to do so yeah damn it you listen to her that's what I'm That's talking right. about, man. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> so now, 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 doing the COVID stuff situation, I know, and I know you made this through COVID. How has uh-huh. that been for you? Ooh, well, you know, there's a few things because not only did we have, you know, this COVID situation, but then we had this George Floyd situation, and then finding out five days later that me and him have the same grandparents. So my whole life did a, a whole turnaround. While I was pushing out this game, then I had to slack up off that because then my life turned to activism. Because once you find out somebody like that carries your blood and was murdered like that, then you know it's family. Everything else is water under the bridge. So it ch- changed the trajectory of my life. Uh, so as far as COVID, I call COVID the great reset. We had it coming. We as a people had it coming. We as a collective had it coming. The earth had it coming. The earth was tired of what we were doing to it. And things have a way of straightening themselves out. There are not only things going on, you know, on the earthly realm, but there's also things going on in the spiritual realm and in in the heavens that are affecting things on the earth. And as, you know, a person who follows these things and, and uh, I align with the, uh, the teachings of, and, uh, of African Yoruba, I'm learning a whole lot about how things externally really impact us. So, yeah, COVID was, is what I call the Great Reset. It was, it was the spiritual putting the brakes on all of this and starting to recalibrate and setting things in the right motion. We had it coming. Okay. I, and, and I agree with that because I think it was just too much going on. And and I right. still feel like, you know, st- st- stuff is too much going on, but it, it's, we're going about it in a more safer way. But I, I ain't going to lie to you, man. I don't, I don't learn. People are just nasty throughout this whole COVID yeah. situation. People are nasty. Yeah. Nasty and a, and a sense of entitlement. And I get it. We all get cabin fever. I mean, me, myself, I was just saying to myself, I, I got to get away. I got to get out of here. And, you know, I'm just trying to figure out how to do that and do that safely. Um, uh, I, um, I don't think this is going away ever. I think this is here to no. stay, just like influenza was here to stay and other things. have been. Here. This is not going anywhere. And I think this is our new normal. So we're going to have to, you know, try to find ways to be careful or deal with the consequences. I've got a cousin right now, God bless his soul, who is, is literally fighting for her own health and has been for the last few weeks, but she's pulling through. And she, she's, you know, in the medical Um, in the medical field, very high rank in the medical field. But if someone as strong as her can get it and literally be down to the point of fighting for their life, it's a wake-up call. 
It's not going anywhere. It is the great reset. I'm telling you what I know. <laughs> hey, and that's some real stuff right there. So now, now with, you know, doing doing the COVID situation, I know that you made the game. Yeah. In the process of making the game, did you like confine in your your friends as well, and just saying like, how how do you feel about this? Like, who did you go to? No. To be- no. Nobody. I literally built this on my own. on my own, no input from anybody. I literally sat down and drew this all out because I, I it's like three, four o'clock in the morning. By the time I figured out this is what I wanted to do, by the time daybreak daybreak came, I already had the the prototype made for the most part. And uh, this was something that I felt like that I needed to do. Um, that I wanted to kind of, and, and I'm just like that. I don't let people see me moving until I've already moved, until I've yeah, already established I'm what I'm trying I'm to do. Same way. You understand? Yeah, I'm, I, I can't hold things. My car is close to my chest because not everybody has the best intentions for you. Really? Uh, not that I'm a negative per- person. I'm just a real person. I have a lot of friends, a lot of family, a lot of people that I know. But then I know not everybody you know, <laughs> see the world the, w- the way that I do. And I know how the, how negative energy can impact what you're trying to achieve. So when I'm creating, when I'm being, you know, in my creative uh, uh, moment, when I'm being, you know, an alchemist or whatever I'm trying to design in my life or manifest in my life, I don't let too many people know about that. You don't, you won't see me coming until I've already came. I'm the same way. I, I do a mm-hmm. lot. I, the way I move, you won't know until I, I've already posted in it. By that time, yeah. it's already too late. It's too late. I'm stealth mode all day. Definitely, man. Definitely. So, now, 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 one thing I will say about the game, and it sounds like, can this be a, subject, a subjective thing? Because can it be like, okay, let's say your homegirl... Let's say she thinks that she's, you know, you know, like let's say an answer is like something that she thinks in her head. Oh well, yeah, that's <laughs> me all the way. But everybody else knows that that's not you. The key, and that's part of it. The key is to be honest. You better. That's why it's like, bitch, you lying because we've yeah. been around you enough to know this is not what you would do. If all three of us are answering the same way and you're answering something completely different no you lied you pull an action card because we don't even believe you at this point (laughs) pull that damn action pull card go do what it says to do and come sit your ass down and wait your turn again and maybe you'll get it right the next time that's how that goes (laughs) now um is is this where can the people find the game where can they get it or how how does this work yeah so you can get it on uh, Etsy. Uh, you can simply go to, uh, I have two websites you can go to, which is, of course, Bitch You Lion, so B-I-T-C-H, the letter U, and then Lion, L-Y-I-N, dot com. Or if you want to go to the more friendly website, uh, and it's uh, www.play, B as in boy, Y as in yellow, L as in Larry, dot com. And you can go on Amazon, and you can find me there as well, too. Tangy from Dallas. Dope, man. I, I, I like, yeah. you know what, and, and I, this is kind of like the first time, because nobody's ever, people bought books to me, albums, but never a game. And I feel like this is, this is pretty <laughs> dope. Well, you know, I wrote a book to go with that called How to Make a Kick-Ass Card Game. So talk talk about the the now is this is more is the book more of instruction or if it's more based on it okay it's it's, it's instruction because people ask me after I you know took off people were like how did you do this you know and I'm like you know what everybody keeps asking me I'm gonna let them know so I literally wrote a manual a book. Uh, and, you know, I, I let them know from soup to nuts, beginning to end, how to do this. If you follow it step by step by step, you can do the same thing. And not only did I give the steps by which you can create your own card game, I also give you the names of vendors and where to go to get what you need. So to, for your graphics, for your printing, everything you need is in that book to create your own card game. All you need is an idea and time to sit down and write it out. 
That's dope. That's dope. And now, that is also the- found on Etsy as well. Same place. It's how to kick, or how to make a kick-ass card game. You just Google that. It's all over the place. Dope. Dope. Now, moving yeah. forward, are you going to be making different versions? Maybe one for mm-hmm. relationships, one for uh, family members. Like you know what? Yeah. You know what? What? What, uh, how, what are we looking at right now? Yeah. So I've, I've got one that's in the works. That's for uh, those of masculine energy. Uh, so it's going to be kind of the same thing. Say along the, along the same lines as what we have, but more of masculine energy for those that are you know men or who are a scribe or. Uh, to that lifestyle and then uh, I'm gonna make a um, a deluxe set so that there's both the ladies version and the men's version in that one set but then beyond that um, there's gonna be you know some inspirational stuff too because there's that whole side of me that's all about you know uplifting and encouragement and enlightenment so now I'm also getting ready to create you know a set of tarot cards that are enlightening uh just other you know different cards and games and even books i've got like 20 titles 20 book titles that i i have planned to make out somehow or another if i can get the time to because serious xm is working me to death but i love my job that's dope man that's dope, man. I, I, I yeah. think I think I think this is a really good time to end. Whenever whenever we look back at it, um, with this pandemic stuff, it was uh, good for me and good and bad for me. On the good end, it mm-hmm. made me organize. I had I'm a mm-hmm. DJ, so I got to organize my whole music library. You know what I'm saying? Mm. My, my, all my crates. And it looks like from, from, from this, you know, everybody sitting down, you took the time out and made your own other avenues. And that's pretty dope. Yeah, you know, I'm all about, uh, you know, multiple streams of income, uh, empowerment, um, just building your wealth and building your potential and just stretching, you know, who you are. Uh, going beyond the norms um, and I like to be you know um, what's the word I'm looking for I, I, I'm i pretty I'm pretty different <laughs> I'm pretty eccentric I, I don't think I really think on the same lines as a lot of people but that's okay it's okay to be different I'm embracing that and so uh, yeah I, I think that uh, the, that COVID and, and the um, pandemic and having to be on lockdown you know, either it was going to make you or break you. One of the two. Real, real. I hear that, man. Uh, mm-hmm. Before before we head up, man, and, and I really want to say I appreciate you being on here and just sharing this with us. I'm definitely going to be pushing it around to my to my female friends and to just anybody who, you know, who really, you know, enjoys a good game and everything, man. So um, what Thanks. what other ventures you got going on or what do you, what do you hope to take? Well, I've got, uh, I, I kind of use that to kick the door in, to kick the door down. Now I'm really getting into my passion. And my passion is empowerment, um, building things, creating things. Uh, I just launched my nonprofit organization called Nothing But Debt. Um, and it's designed for, you know, young entrepreneurs, help them get their businesses off the ground. I literally have a speaking engagement for a ISD from some fifth and sixth graders, you know, to show them, hey, um, you can do whatever you want to do, but full stop. It's all you got to do is dream it and plan it and work your plan. And I'm going to give them those tools this weekend. Um, so the card game was me kicking the door down, testing the water. Now that I've got your attention, I can do all the other stuff. I also launched um, my company, uh, Tanham Enterprises. So everything is under that the card game is under that um the book all the books that i've got coming under that speaking engagements keynote um uh anybody get me to sing a hook or two (laughs) on their music is going under that um just i'm i've got so many things uh, under you know on under my um under my part in my purview that i i need to do i mean i'm currently the chair of the um, NAACP Prince George's County um, Public Relations Team. 
Um, I do a lot of the interviews um, for uh, for our groups uh, within Sirius XM with you know some very awesome celebrities. So I I stay pretty busy. So I use the card game to kick down the door. Now that I got your attention, I'm gonna really get to work. Well, let me ask you this then. With all that being mm-hmm. said, and 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 I and I get everybody got to eat. Trust me. But when when do you find yeah. time you? Ooh. So you already figured out that I have that problem, don't you? You picked yeah, that up I, quick, right? I, I'm listening to you, and I'm like, well, when, when mm-hmm. does she have time for, for herself? Yeah, and I'm also a, a, a college student. I'm getting my master's, and literally tonight i got to write a 20-page paper. Uh, so this is what it's come down to. Um, it, it's a blessing and a curse. And sometimes I don't know when to stop, especially being an overachiever. I've gone through areas in life where, you know, my back is up against the wall. I don't have anybody I can depend on and I don't know what to do. And I said I would never be in that situation again, ever. And so I have all these backup plans. What I can tell you, and I can be straight up and and honest, is that I am a bit tired. Once I get through with this paper over the next day and a half, because I literally stayed up all night working. I was working overnight last night for serious. But once I get through um, this this paper that I have to write over the next day and a half, um, everything is pretty much taking a back burner, back seat. In fact, in uh, in April, I'm clearing my schedule. April, May, June, I'm clearing my schedule. If it's the only thing that I will be putting my time to will be um, the NAACP because that work never stops. Um, but other than that, the rest, of the, my, the time is going to be mine. I was going to take the college, uh, take um, the summer semester. To hell with that. I have got to get back to core um, because I do feel how it, it's impacted me. Uh, so to your point and, and to answer your question, um, Eventually, if I don't slow it down, life will slow me down. Spirit will say, all right, I'm just going to kick you off your feet for a second so you can get some rest. And that's what's happening right now. Yeah, so it's just, you know, when you're hungry for it and, and you, you want to, you, you, if you're, you're, you just built about that grind and that hustle and you, you, you've got all these opportunities around you. I have so many doors around me that are, you know, potentials to be open. And then yeah. I have so many people coming to me, bringing me so many things, but I, I do have to learn to say, no, not right now. That is a struggle that I have. And timing is everything, man. And what, what I learned yeah. is, is that, because cause you sound so much like me, is that I, I, yeah. I want it because my motto is I'm, I'm, I'm going to grind. I'm going to go, man. Right. And a lot of people... Um, I can like I I have that kind of chip on my shoulder like I can only depend on myself so I'll wear the six yeah. or seven hatch just so I can make yeah. sure that each and everything gets done the way that I want to but on on the on yeah. the uh, curse side of that is that uh, is a lot of times that has took in away from time or even tired I'm like I'm tired yeah. a lot of times so um, yeah. sometimes I even will turn off my phone and just be like yo I need to I need to wind down. Man. Yeah, that was one. I did that. Um, in fact, Facebook, because I used to be heavily on Facebook. Now I just, I, I'll rarely go on it. And I don't know if I'll ever go back. If I go back, it'll be to post things like what, you know, what you and I are doing or something like that. But being wholly engaged like I used to be, can't do it. And I can tell you that since I've slacked up off of social media, that has helped a whole lot. Right now, I'm I'm just I'm thinking about this 20 page paper, and a part of me is saying, "Do I take the hit to the grade <laughs> and just stay to hell with it and try it again, or do I push through?" And right now, that's that's going to be a game day decision in about one hour from now. I'm going to sit in front of my computer and figure it out because I'm trying to figure. I, I, there's a point where you have to put your health and your well being, you know, first. And it may be that I might have to take a loss to my grade at this point. It may be that I have to take that hit, you know. And I, and me being someone who hates to lose, 
I'm trying to figure out, can I live with that decision? So it's going to be uh, a Hail Mary and a May Day in about an hour from now. <laughs> figure it Deep out. question. But I do, Deep I question, feel you. Mm-hmm. Deep question. Yeah. Do, you, do you ever feel like you are competing with yourself? All day, every day. And it's, 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 it's horrible. <laughs> yeah, I'm always pushing myself. Um, I'm telling you, I, I, I can go through some life stories because I, I went, even though I came up in a very loving home and a loving family, you know, I did have some things happen in, in my life that are very extraordinary. And when I finally get down to book number 20 and let all those things out, you guys will probably wonder why I'm, how I'm still standing and how I'm still alive. But, you know, when you're told and you hear people say to you in your life, You'll never amount to anything. You're not going to be shit. People that you thought loved you and say something like that, they they didn't realize who they were saying that to. <laughs> because I knew as much as you're going to put that energy towards me, I know I'm going to do everything in my power to prove you wrong. And I've done it several times over. Now these very same people who have said these things about me, some directly to me, some I got by word of mouth or, you know, I heard about it. I, they'll, they'll come to my Facebook and they'll ask to be my friend on Facebook and I know good and well what they said about it, but I don't, I don't go off bad on them. I allow them to be friends on my Facebook and I welcome them in and I treat them well. Why? Mm. Because I need you to see all of how you exactly. were wrong. Yeah, I need you to see what the, since, since you said I wasn't said. I need you to see yes. my angsted ass so you can see what I'm doing. I need doing. you to see all that. Exactly. <laughs> that part. Exactly, man. Tammy, I do, I do mm-hmm. appreciate you being on here. And like I said, man, yeah. t- t- phenomenal uh, efforts on, and not even efforts, but just a job well done on the, on the game and everything. Make sure you guys check it out. Thank it's you. called Bitch You Lie. God Bitch! Damn. <laughs> and you got to do it like that, girl. You got to do it like that. Bitch, <laughs> <laughs> you like it. Still ass, take that card. <laughs> thank Definitely, you so man. much. And I think that you're doing a phenomenal job. And can't wait to hear you. Sway bring you back on the ones and twos again. Oh yeah, man! It was it was an honor that even for him to have me on on there, man. To, I got to rock out for like thirty minutes. He did a good intro, as you know, he always does good intros. But it's something different. Yeah. When he says it about you, you know what I'm saying? So, yes, yeah. he's 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 just he's the the apple of of Sirius as far as I'm concerned, and I am a huge Sway fan. And to be um to be, you know, his co-worker now <laughs> is, is everything. So uh, I'm, I'm certainly um, looking forward to you doing that again. I'll have to put that bug out there to get you out there and let you go ahead and let us, and jam us out real good. And I really appreciate your time in this inter- inter- interview, and, and God bless you. Definitely. And may the ancestors smile on everything that you do. Definitely, man. But before, before you go, run it down wherever they, wherever they can find you at, the game, everything. Uh-huh. So you want to go to www.bitch, the letter U, lion, L-Y-I-N, dot com. Or for all the people who can't, don't like to type like that, you can go to www.playbyl.com. And you can go to kickasscardgame.com to find that out. Other, You can just type in... Tangy from Dallas. Google me. Google Tangy from Dallas. You'll find whatever you need. Yeah, Damn, I do appreciate you being <laughs> on here and everything, man. It's it's been a pleasure talking to you. I love your energy and keep doing you, man. Oh, thank you so much, sweetheart. We'll be in touch for real, no doubt. Definitely, man. Keep it live. Yo, this is Travis Scott. Wow, wow, wow. It's your boy, little baby. This is Drizzy Drake with Shy Town Urban Radio. Urban Radio.